On Friday, the impeached president, a man with every resource available to him, who since February hasn't allowed anyone within six feet of him without first testing negative, had to finally admit the coronavirus, which by now has killed over 210,000 Americans, isn't actually a hoax invented by the Democrats. It's not gonna just miraculously disappear one day, warm weather isn't gonna kill it, and hydroxychloroquine isn't actually a treatment. Turns out he's typhoid Mary. This news came on the same day tens of thousands of Miami-Dade County Public School employees were forced back into their buildings under an emergency order issued by Florida's Education Commissioner to prop up the governor's ridiculous claims that COVID doesn't affect children and it's perfectly safe to walk around without a mask on. Nothing to see here. But no hand-picked quack. The White House marches out to regurgitate the ridiculous talking points. It's going to change the fact that tens of thousands of Americans are going to test positive today, seven months into the crisis, and no plan in sight. For months, the governor has threatened to cut funding to local school districts that refuse to reopen. Let me just underline that, because it worth, it's worth noting here. The emergency during the deadliest pandemic in over a century isn't to close schools, but to reopen them. Today, another 3,000 Floridians tested positive for the novel coronavirus. And unlike the six-time bankrupt reality show has been, they don't have a phalanx of medical experts to watch over them day and night. Many of them are essential workers and lack basic health care. Unlike the so-called billionaire, who's paid less in taxes than the little old lady who just bagged her groceries at Publix. The Miami Herald editorial staff writes, Florida leaders have shown again and again, the locals are on our own. So in case it wasn't clear before, the governor doesn't care about you. The education commissioner doesn't care about your community. All they care about is themselves and their political futures, which they've latched on to the most corrupt administration in US history, only to watch it go down in flames. And if millions of Floridians get infected during the most important election since the Civil War, it is what it is. Oh, and for everyone who's uh, rallying around the impeached president shoulder to shoulder to show support for him, Walter Reed is socialized medicine. That's right. Chandeliers in private hospital suites, paid for by you for the rich and powerful, pink slips and bread lines for the rest of us. If you're not outraged, you're not paying attention.